So I'm going to redo question six, as I realized there was a mislabeling that I did. So here we're, we're given a box, an, an open top box made from a square piece of cardboard with side length 12 by cutting equal squares in the corners and folding up. So I'm going to start with this size 12 box. And we cut some corners into them. Okay. So with cutting corners into them, cuts like this. And I'm told that draw a diagram and label it with L for the side lengths of the removed square and H for the height. So this here is L. L, 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 L. And that's the side length of the squares that are removed. And then it says H for the height of the box. And here, when we're looking at that height, we've got this part here. And this is what we call a net. This drawing that we have is a net. And when it's looking at the height, these L's are gonna be pieced together. So this is gonna be my height. That's left over. Um, might also make sense to call it the width of the box, or the base of the box. Because when we fold it up, we're gonna get a shape like this. We get this shape, and this is going to be H H L. So we need to write an expression for the volume as a function of the side length of the square cut out from the corner. Well, the volume of the box equals H squared L. Now, this H, we have 12, 12 equals H plus L plus L, which equals H plus 2L. Well, now, H equals 12 minus 2L. So my volume equals 12 minus 2L squared times L. Expanding this, we get volume is equal to One forty four L minus forty eight L squared plus four L cubed. And this is our expression for our volume. And we've made it into a single variable expression. Now, finally, we want to find the side length that maximizes the volume. So to do this, I have to understand my domain constraints. Okay. So here we have H, or my volume equals 144L minus 48L squared plus 4L cubed. And when I have this height here, I have that the length is greater than or equal to zero, and the height is greater than or equal to zero. It means 12 minus 2L is greater than or equal to zero. So L is less than or equal to six. Given these two constraints, L is in the closed interval zero to six. So now to maximize this, I can use the maximum over closed interval test. First, I solve for my derivative with respect to L to understand where my total values are. So 144 minus 96L 
plus 12L squared equals 12 bracket L squared minus 8L plus 12. And this factors to 12L my, uh, minus 6, L minus 2. So I've got two options. I've got L equals 6 and 2. Now, as 6 is not within within 0 to 6, it is not a critical value. As 2 is within 0 to 6, it is a critical value. And now for the absolute max test, we compare for the absolute max over a closed interval test, we compare f of 2 with f of 0 and f of six. And this is something that we should write out those words, but I'm being a little bit lazy here. F of zero, and here it's not F, it should be V of two with V of F with, or V of zero with V of six. V of zero equals zero. V of six equals zero. And V of two equals um, 12 minus 4 squared times 2, which equals 64 times 2, which equals 128. And that is the maximum volume. But if we look here, it says find the side length square cut that maximizes the volume of the box. So we don't care about this maximum volume. We care about L equaling 2. So we write the concluding sentence. The cut length L equals 2 maximizes the volume of the box.